Looks like we are live. I'm going to try and do a stroll along the Seine. See if this stays in focus or not. I figured I'd start at Passy because it's one of the more famous bridges. Really nice, really picturesque, famous. Just trying to get out of here without like falling on my face. You'll recognize it from such movies as Inception and probably other movies too. Just, to, I don't know, not, can't, not thinking of any. Hi, Karen. So I'm going to try and navigate these stairs without falling. And well, all I'm going to do is kind of go for a stroll, chat, talk a little bit about where we're going, including Mission Impossible location here, if you watch the recent Mission Impossible movie. And then, uh, yeah, my patrons voted for me to go strolling along here, so you can thank them for that, as you like. So this is that spot where, under the bridge, in Mission Impossible, they ended up shooting the cop. They didn't mean to shoot the cop, but the, other, the bad guys did, I think. Anyways, that's where they hide the car, and they put the guy in, and then they take off, and some guys come down, and, you know, the bad guys, c c c what's the word I'm looking for? Confront them, that's right. It's hard to speak right now for some reason. Hi, Endemore. Hi, Ren. Adam. Alma. Hi, Eddie. Rita. Fitzy. Nice to see you. From Melbourne. Have some nice coffee for me. And Anson from Russia. This bridge is fantastic. Here, I'm going to turn this around for a second. You can see it's the vanishing points on this thing are to die for. And this is the part of the bridge where in Inception she creates it, supposedly creates it, out of her just her tiny little brain, or her big, really big brain. And it unfolds in front of her and then bridges the gap to over there. And you'll notice over here, a very familiar sight in the trees. Tour Eiffel. Let's see if we can adjust this. Forgive my gimbal skills, how they reuse this thing. We'll figure it out as we go. Not so bad. It looks nice with the clouds and everything, actually. And then back to our outrageous vanishing points. And this is why this bridge is so famous. One of the shots. There are a lot of shots that you'll see from the side as well of the metro going overhead. So this is the Passy Bridge, Pont Passy. Or no, this is Pont Bir Hakim, I'm sorry. This is Bir Hakim Bridge. Passy was the metro stop that I was just at, sorry. Like I said, my brain's only partially functioning. And then you've got this nice angle of the tower. My goal is to walk way over there and then past it and we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of sleepy, obviously, having a hard time concentrating, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy a delightful stroll and a chat. Whatever else comes along. Hey, Jenica, good to see you. Christina, nice to see you too. Robbie, wow, there's a lot of people saying hi. Sorry. Thank you for having that coffee for me. I need it. Hi, Dan. Merry Christmas to you too. Kim D. Paris is easy to miss. Can't lie. Uh, Karen, I think, hopefully, there you go. I uh, did respond to that without having to respond to that, I guess. Uh, hi Peter, Caleb, Shemi, things to do on Christmas day. Just go for a stroll, like I'm doing right now. There's not gonna be anything open, so might as well do the best you can to go out and enjoy it. You can see this uh, very famous statue over here of Joan of Arc, one of her many statues. Hanging out here, pointing her sword the direction she wants to go, I suppose, and yeah. It's hard to know that this it's not a dream within a dream, Jenica. That is very true. Hi, Jess. So, I'm just walking in the bike lane, which might not be the best idea, but it's kind of hard not to when that's what's going on behind you. Hopefully the picture quality is decent. I'm doing this on my cell phone, obviously. So, we get what we get. Somebody complained recently about the, the, the picture quality of one of my live streams, and I was like, I can't control that. It's all dependent on the bandwidth that I have allocated, and it's not always the best. Hello, back to Hawaii. Yeah, I guess that, that this does feel a little bit Lord of the Rings. There's a lot less fire and fewer orcs. Um, I'm not going to tell you my itinerary for India. That doesn't sound wise to publicly broadcast. You can stop asking, because I'm not going to tell you where I'm traveling and when. That doesn't sound very smart to me. Um, yeah, walking by the river is very safe at night. It's generally great. Of course, this will be the one time that somebody runs up and actually steals my phone from me as I'm going. So one thing that you should know, if you want to, if you're in this area, let's turn this around. This is Abir Hakim, the metro station there. 
And then uh, just over here is a little road down. And that's where we're gonna go and it runs along the RER, which you can see through the ventilation down there. We might see a trainer here. Train and then a bunch of boats down here as well. And so we'll be able to go and check that out. Just kind of stroll way down under the Eiffel Tower. That's my goal, where these guys are running down here. See those guys running? That's where we're gonna go. And then these peniche, or these boats down here. Some of them are private residences, and I don't know how many of these are actually open to the public at all, to be honest. I think, they're, I think they may all be private. Don't quote me on that, though, because you never know. I'm glad to hear that, Kelly. Glad it was helpful. Yeah, it's fun to watch. If you guys appreciate this, you can always vote on where I go for these strolls uh, by supporting me on Patreon. And uh, I, forgive me patrons for not having done quite as many polls recently. It's just been a mildly crazy period and I've struggled to get those polls up. But after India, especially, we we'll get back to it. Whoa, I just knocked this thing way out of whack. Careful with the, careful with hitting your gimbal. Apparently that is a no-go. Hey, Dennis and R. Um, as far as the boats go, I think all of these are private over here, but then you get into the ones that are like party boats and things and tour boats and restaurant boats. So not all of them are always private. This is the RER station I was talking about. This is the one you would take to get out to Versailles. The Eiffel Tower does light up every night. All year round. It just lights up later during the summer because it gets dark later. And it sparkles every hour on the hour for five minutes. It used to sparkle for 10 minutes, but then they wanted to go green. And, uh, and so that was kind of like a, a symbolic gesture that they cut it down from 10 minutes to five minutes because it doesn't actually make much of a difference. According to what I've read, uh, but it's a lot of flash bulbs, and I've never found like the official number of how many flash bulbs it is. I've seen a couple different numbers for it. Oh, you can hear the train now. I don't know if you can see it. I'll raise this up as high as I can. No, nope, no train. It's okay. You've all seen trains before. But anyways, that was kind of their their symbolic gesture to try and demonstrate that they were conscientious of wasted electricity. And there you go. And also, good evening, champagnes, or at least half of the champagne, or I guess one-fifth of the champagne gang. Um, I just finished season four of Game of Thrones. I was tempted to start season five, but I'm out here walking with you instead. Season four has some very brutal parts to it, but that's that's kind of a non, that's like a non sequitur because that's just all of Game of Thrones. Here's some of the boats over here. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate that, Nolly. It'll be interesting to see what color my light is when I get home, if there's super chat coming in. We can probably take bets on what color it is when we get there. Hey, Tulip. So you can see these boats, but people's like, there's a bike over there and you could have a picnic out here. It'd be so much fun to live on one of these, I feel like. 20,000 bulbs, 5,000 per side. Interesting. Thank you. I will believe you. And so here's what looks like the last private boat. I'm assuming this is private. And then up here is where we start getting into the tour boats and things like that. Batomouche and the others start much farther down though, so I don't think there are a ton over here. And then you get some bars and some nightclub style boats up farther. Nope, nope, nope. And then here's, here she is getting closer. You can see the angle changing steadily move. That's pretty cool though. Nice and smooth. We'll get it to, hold on. We'll go until it sparkles. How about that? We'll, we'll end when, when it sparkles. So that'll be, that's going to be a while, <laughs> but I need a stroll anyways. Um, there are not very many restaurants open 24 hours, unfortunately. In some neighborhoods, you'll find a couple and there's like, there are a couple of McDonald's that are open 24 seven, but, uh, not very many Paris. France does not do the all night convenience very much. And there is a. Really big. I did a video actually on the, in the Tuileries, there's a Christmas market, which was one of the options for this live stream. Um, and I'm glad we didn't choose that because I went back by there last night with a buddy, with my friend Yvonne and uh, her buddy Jimmy. And it was, it's not, it's not the best. You really want to go to like Strasbourg or out into Germany for the Christmas markets. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Graham, I, oh, what did you say? Looking forward to Paris? Oh, yeah, best place to have a coffee. Depends on what kind of coffee you're looking for. But uh, the Peloton obviously has really good flat whites. If you want to get a pour over, I'd go to like Strata or Fringe. They do really well. Very tasty. Or Neighbors, actually. Neighbors and Honor also do really good ones. I wrote a guide to the whole city if you'd like to jump on that too. There's tons of good recommendations in there. Um, uh, yeah, recording the Eiffel Tower at night uh, is not exactly smiled upon. It's a good point. I don't really know what the rules are for that, and uh, it's for commercial purposes. You can you can record it as much as you want. So, you know, gray area. I'm just chilling with my, my friends online right now. Not reproducing it and selling the image. That's how we're gonna float this, at least. Here goes the train, as promised at some point. So yeah, the, uh, the Eiffel Tower itself is just because the lights themselves are copyrighted, um, which is kind of, it's one of the outrageous laws, uh, the copyright laws in France, that architecture it can be considered a, a work of art, so you can actually copyright architecture. So there are a number of buildings, not just the Eiffel Tower, but there are dozens if not hundreds of buildings in France that you technically cannot take photos of and sell. So the Eiffel Tower is the most famous example of that, but there are lots and lots and lots of buildings that you can't take photos of in daylight either. So it's kind of an outrageous law that you really can't um, enforce very well. But also, this is different than if I was just taking a photo of the Eiffel Tower at night and then selling it. Right now, the subject matter is moi, and the Eiffel Tower just happens to be in it. That's my story. Anyways, we're walking through a winter wonderland here. It's very wondrous. It's frosty, the snowman, and everything. Here is the new angle that we got. Sorry, I'm just keep messing with my gloves as I go. But with this is the uh, the carousel down below it. Hey, Rita and Kim D. The Christmas market, I'm sure, is going to be open into January. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Yeah, there are, you'll find kebabs that are open around town as well. Like, you'll find random spots, it's just, they're not always easy to find. Man, I really want to go to the Strasbourg Christmas Market, maybe next year. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Trevor. I hope you guys enjoy your trips. Anywho, and there it goes. The carousel starting a little bit there. Look at that carousel. And then these bird scooters are obviously popular around town. Whoa! Terrible gimbal skills. So, the goal now is to keep walking, whoops, keep walking for another few bridges. And we'll see if we can't go until that thing sparkles, which is going to happen in about, come on, watch. My watch is not cooperating. I'm not a fan of this watch. I don't know if you picked up on that. It's, I was so excited to get it and it turned out to kind of suck. So 21 minutes away. Right about. Happy to walk around town a little bit. Hopefully, the quality's okay. It's, it's having a hard time focusing on my face. Um, Paris's rat problem is not that bad. It was like a year ago. They were having some real troubles. I think it's gotten better. They were struggling. The way that it was described to me, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's 100% true, so don't quote me on this one. I saw one over here recently that I did not get. Okay. There is not one where I thought there might be. Anyways, um, apparently the EU set regulations as to what kinds of rat poison could be used. And so there's a kind of poison that rats would take back with them to their nests. And then you'd kill the entire nest instead of just the one rat, which was how France managed to keep tabs on its rat population. And then that was regulated away. So not allowed to use that anymore. And uh, they've had a really hard time keeping a, a cap on it. And there were some really gross slash cool videos coming out about that. Like there were some garbage guys that had videos of the garbage cans that they were dumping just full of rats because the rats would fall in and not be able to get out. Um, yeah, so that's kind of disturbing. But the rats themselves are pretty nice. I don't think they even bit the garbage guys. I think they just wanted to get out of the garbage cans. See the, uh, whoop, hold on, inverted. There's nothing behind me, nothing important, right? It's this, we're all focused on me. This is all about me right now. Uh, da, 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 da. 
So anyways, that's a little bit about the rats. This is more than I meant to talk about rats today. Um, close chicken part, yes. And actually, so then you'll see signs where they say sous dératisation, which if you see a sign on a park that's fenced off, it's because they're trying to get rid of the rats in that tiny little park. Um, and you do see that around town still. So maybe the problem hasn't gotten any better, who knows? It's kind of funny, kind of sad. I have, let's see. I'm glad you enjoyed your trip. Christmas beer would be nice, but I'm nowhere near the beer. Have you tried Paris Aqua Boulevard? Is that what that says? I don't think I know what that is. Mm -mm -mm. Unless we're talking about the um, aquarium over there, which I did go into once before, but I kind of forget what that was like a little bit. Let me see if I can reframe this. Oh, actually, here, give you a shot of the uh, dupe, the Christmas bow on the paniche here. If the gimbal will work with me, which it seems to not want to do. There we go. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's kind of an intimate moment. Turn the camera away from that. Ew, cuties. Cyril, kind of hard to stand on top of all these while walking. Mm -mm -mm. The rats are French, too busy to, it's true. They're, very, they're too busy to bite you and too friendly all at the same time. Hey Dixie, no, I, uh, I went and checked today. I haven't seen anything, but thank you. I'm guessing, I'm gonna check tomorrow too for some other stuff and we'll see if it's there. Hey Deb. Jason, good to see you. Shauna, good to see you too. I'm sure we'll be fine in India. I'm looking forward to going. Ah, it's going nuts here. No, no, no. Yeah, you'll see the rats out at night. If I see a rat on this walk, I'll be sure to show you. For sure. Cuties or cuties. I mean, either way, really. Have fun with that laundry, Bucky. Here's me pull with lots of slides. Nope, I don't, I don't think that's it. Behind me right now, wow, come on, phone, catch up. It's a really unattractive view of the Eiffel Tower. So if we aim it really high, you can't tell. And I'll keep walking. Getting really hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. Gotta take care of that. It's all spooky with those trees too. A spooky tower. Mm. I'm not sure if it's gonna be locked off down here. So I'm going to go up a little bit. Am I? Oh no, I'm not. You wanna go up there? Nah, let's take the risk. Let's keep going this way. So we're going this way. You can see some boat action here under one of the foot bridges. It's a nice bridge. Actually, that's kind of what I wanna do now that I'm seeing it. I kinda of wanna go over that bridge, but we'll take the next one over. It will be the plan. I hope this is mildly entertaining, just walking through Paris along the river today. It is cold here. Wow, hey, Shauna, thank you. Merry Christmas. Very appreciated. Uh, thank you. I will have a beer in all of your honors uh, later. Uh, I do not use Periscope. No, Linda. Hi, Rita. I think I tried Periscope once, but uh, nah. At this point, especially because my audience is on YouTube, everybody knows to find me on YouTube. Aha, stairs. Makes sense just to do this kind of thing on, on the YouTubes. Okay, let's cross the river again. Because crossing the river is more fun and then just walking along the river. Nah, 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 nah. Getting dark, don't worry, we'll fix that. Nah, nah, nah. Boat action, look at all those boats. That's nice. Let's see if I can, ah! No gloves when trying to operate the screen. Hi, Michael. I'm glad you're entertained, Dixie. Merry Christmas, Kathy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this area was off limits for a while. That was a while ago. It's funny how like sometimes you don't go to a place for a long time and you just remember it being off limits. Whoa, hey. Thanks, Almighty family. Hello to Canada from Paris. So here's where we're gonna end up going. Or at least I'm going to try and make rid of it. You can see Sacre Coeur all the way up on that hill over there. We're going to walk towards Pont Alexandre Trois is my goal. 
the Bridge of Alexander III. Forgive my inconsistent pronunciations of all words because, I mean, come on, we're caught between a couple different languages. And then over here, we go like this, angle up a little bit, woo! Need a little bit of a wider angled lens on the camera here. Just kind of strolling. You could set this as like your uh, Apple TV background image. Well, I hope you have a fun time while you're in Paris, Ida. Hi, Fidel. Also, sorry if I mispronounce names as I'm going. They're kind of hard to read while walking and trying not to trip and fall and die. So hopefully I get everybody's names right. My apologies if I miss it. So over here is the Palais de Tokyo, which they've been doing a lot of renovations on, it looks like. We'll see if like the yard down here is all trashed. So they're working on that. But this is the Modern Art Museum. One of them, Pompidou is obviously the classic Modern Art Museum. Uh, but this one always has really cool exhibitions going on. Highly recommend it. And then the restaurant next to it is okay. <laughs> I don't know. I went there, I thought it was all right. That was actually, I went there, if you go back to my, the season, the first season of my vlog, there's an episode called Crazy First Date, where I went on a first date with a woman who took me to Crazy Horse, which is a cabaret, if you're unaware. And uh, that's where we went to dinner afterwards. And it was okay. Definitely nothing to write home about, in my ever so humble opinion. But don't trust me. Try it yourself and you can let me know. Hey Tim, glad you're enjoying it. I have been to the Paris Opera, super worth it. More worth it than Versailles, if you're short on time. It's gorgeous on the inside. Yeah, Sacre Coeur is right next to the Eiffel Tower, as the movies all declare. So close. Shakespeare and Company is fun though. You can still go and look around. Oh, excellent, 720p, that's impressive. Thank you, Jason, appreciate that. Favorite restaurant in the Marais is generally going to be Misnan. Easy to get to, really delicious. Just don't try to go on Saturday, it'll be closed. Stella, I hope you make it back to Paris someday. It's worth it. Very worth it. Right, here's some more boat action. So these boats, that is a dinner cruise right there. And on the other side, oh, it's also a dinner cruise. A couple of them You really get what you pay for on those. There you go, in case you're wondering. Sorry, I'm dodging groups of tourists right now. The distraction, I'm just trying to keep from like running anybody or dropping this in the river. Those are all goals. Down below are more private boats. You can see some people hanging out on the couch in that one. And this one, they have wisely locked the windows off. So that's good. Hey, Nancy. I am currently between, I guess, Trocadero and the uh, the Grand Palais is the best way of putting it, probably. Uh, boat tours are definitely worth it. Like, I'd do just a regular boat tour for like 15 euros. Um, the dinner ones, I'm not sure. Depends on what you're in for. In a nutshell, the Yellow Jackets are just protesting economic inequality, more or less. They're frustrated and they're hoping to be heard. And it's kind of working, but there's no centralized leadership so there's nobody really to negotiate with so it's kind of tricky. Hi Chantal, I'm doing well. Somebody's just asking me about Periscope and I wondered if you'd be here. Hi Scott, thanks. Yeah, I, I would like to be, you're welcome Rita, thank you at the same time for being appreciative. I definitely should be packing for India right now but this is fun too. It's nice to get out and go for a walk. It's very cold to answer your question, Ada. Sorry, I'm missing some of these too. Ah, chicken shawarma sounds delicious. Good evening. Yeah, and the, the Peloton not only has a good recommendation, but they have discounts. So you can actually get a discounted boat tour with them if you feel so inclined. Let's see if we can track this one. That is just, oh, is that a dinner cruise as well? That is a dinner cruise as well. Lots of dinner cruises out tonight, I'm surprised. Watch that thing go by. We were just on that bridge, for those of you keeping track at home. And for those of you who just got here and have no idea, you can see the lasers cutting through the sky up there. Eiffel lasers. It's really great. Thanks, Nancy. And dun, 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 dun. 
You can see this guy turning around to go for another look at the Eiffel Tower. I guess there's, because there's lower boat traffic, I bet they can go for longer right now. It is warmer out here tonight than it has been recently. That is true. It's still cold, but also not raining like yesterday. We got soaked yesterday. Absolutely soaked. Now, I'm going to show you. Here's, this is Alma, Pont Alma, or the Alma Bridge. And you know it because of the flame. I'll show you that. I'm going to show you a bunch of Space Invaders all in one location. If you come and you're looking for Space Invaders, this is how you can get a whole bunch of them really fast and easy. So over here is the flame. That flame was given to Paris by the city of New York as a thank you for the, I think it was the city of New York gave it to them at least, the US, as a thank you for the Statue of Liberty. We'll start over there and then come back. There's one right near me where I'm at right now. We're gonna go over here first, run through traffic really quick. Yeah, and then all these flowers, there aren't very many right now. But this is used as a memorial for Princess Diana, even though uh, that's not what the actual monument is for. But that's what people use it for. So this is Alma Marceau on line nine. And you will see right above the Metro stop, two very fancy Space Invaders comprised of gold and black. Don't be fooled by this though. Laura saw these when she was on a run and got them. But what she missed was just around the corner also up high, if you're going for Space Invaders, got to remember that they're always about a story off the ground. And there's one right there. That's the sneaky one that might get away from you. So, and they are real. They're real Space Invaders for sure. And then over here, where we just were on the corner of the bridge is going to be another one. Hey, thanks Siri from Chicago. Appreciate that. So, I'll show you over here, across the street again. And again, for context, you have your flame, the Eiffel Tower. It's all pretty in gold. And then if you turn and look over here, you're gonna see a Space Invader right on the corner. Right there. That's a pretty new one. It's only been up for a few months at this point. We're gonna run across the street before this bus decides to go. And voila, look at that guy. He's all wet, it's been raining. And back across the river we go because why not use the bridges we've got available to us right now? How are we doing on time? Just wanna make sure I'm in a good spot when the tower twinkles. Ah, my stupid watch. All right, we're gonna have to push it. We're gonna make this work. Oh wow, we're really gonna have to push it if we're gonna make this work. It's gonna be a tree, see? What's up, mystery man? Thank you. Happy to, happy to guide you around for a second. There are thousands of space invaders, like 3,000. There are like 1,400 of them in Paris, or 1,300 of them, somewhere in there. You know, when you unlock a city in the app, it tells you how many are in that city. Uh, you know, this is where couples go to kiss and make their Instagram look all romantic. Do, do, do. Yeah, you gotta get all the invaders. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it. This is the Orthodox Church that just got finished not so long ago. I think it's a Russian Orthodox Church. Um, finished very soon. One of the rumors that was circulating for a while was that they hid like spy equipment in the gold domes up there. Who knows? Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe there's an elephant up there and it's the elephant that rings the bells. We'll never know. So many fun stories. Oh, okay, gotta get, gotta creep across before traffic. Ah, it's the sky. This is, this thing's all turned around now. I don't know what the deal is. There we go. And then again, who's up? So, run across. We got no time to wait. We got, we got moving to do. So over there you can see the Grand Palais, which is still illuminated, which is nice. I don't know what the exhibition in there right now is, but we'll see. Hey, Michael, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, and then Bateau Mouche is where a lot of those dinner cruises are leaving from. So if you want to do a dinner cruise, there's always the Bateau Mouche. And I'm wondering if there's any Space Invaders around here that I've missed. That's, you can see where my mind goes right away. Thinking like, there's gotta be invaders around. 
The American church is up here on the right as well. American Cathedral. There's two American, whoa, churches. Hey, Eiffel Tower. Uh, in town, I think the American Cathedral is the one that's up here. I'm doing a great job, aren't I? Remembering all the locations, but it's pretty. It's the first American church in Paris, and it's still very active. And uh, yeah, lots of Americans. It has a very nice spire. It's very notable. It's very easy to spot because there's nothing really around it in this stretch. So especially when you're on the other side of the river, you're pretty much guaranteed to see it. I'm gonna switch arms now because my right arm is getting tired of holding this camera up in front of my face. Whoa! Hey, Rosie, thank you so much. Oh, I'm losing this. Whoa! Mm -mm -mm. Turn this around because you don't want to see my face so much. We're gonna go back down for a minute because we can and because it's fun. The um, river here, you'll look back at a lot of movies and you'll see lots of traffic down here, even some movies that have happened since. Because this used to be, yeah, cars used to be able to drive along the river. But thankfully, the mayor has since denied car traffic this area, and now it's all pedestrians. So you can run, you can ride your bike, you can ride your wheel. The ghost riding a scooter behind me, I missed that part. Whoops. That's what I get for being behind on this. But you can go walk your dog. There's some, like, sports stuff you can do down here. There's, like, little climbing walls for kids. A little bit of a garden action over here on these barges over here. See? Hard to see when it's so dark. But there are plants over there. Yeah, I'll just have to believe me. And then in the distance, we can see Pont Alexandre, so the big golden things on the bridge. And then way in the distance is the Christmas market at the Tuileries. You can see the um, Ferris wheel. And it's all shiny and sparkly. And you can go get like some Alpine treats while you're there. Melty cheese and potatoes. And, or you can jump on one of these bikes and, you know, ride it wherever the heck it is you feel like. The tower is not sparkling yet, but I also can't really be sure for that because I can't see the time because my watch hates me. It's going to be sparkling very soon. So, so let's go. I'm not actually sure what he said. Something like, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're going to try and get into a better well, position. Try not to trip and fall and land on my face. Um, Peter, the current temperature is... A little bit colder than warm, but a little bit warmer than cold. I don't actually know, because I don't have a thermometer built into my face. Here's the uh, American church steeple I was talking about. I don't know if you'd call it iconic, but it's definitely very recognizable. You'll definitely see it when you're here, when you're passing along. I don't know if you saw the designs on the ground here too, but they try to paint these roads to make them really fun for kids especially, and for adults. Maybe. And there are lots of people out running today. It's good. It's good for your health. Oh no. Oh no. Where is it going? There we go. 7 degrees Celsius apparently. That helps. Or 45 degrees. Maybe that's in your town. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't check the temperature here right now. You can see the lights going nuts over in the uh, Grand Palais. So speaking of sights from the new Mission Impossible movie, that is where Tom Cruise uh, parachuted almost to his death. And then they went and partied and killed more people. Because that's terrible. But it's a really, really cool building. And I don't know what they're doing in there right now. Maybe they're having an event. I don't know how often they actually use it for events and like charity and stuff like that, but it would be a cool place to go for that. Okay, so we have a couple minutes. We're going to cross this bridge. This is, I think this is Pont des Invalides. I think this is the bridge of the Invalids. And also there's a space meter up here, but we're gonna skip it. If you come down right before the bridge, on the round thing, so just underneath this road that we're gonna walk up, there's a Space Invader there as well, if you wanna get it. I missed that one a million times, until it was pointed out to me, speaking of having things pointed out to you. No, you cannot fly your drone in Paris unless you wanna to go to jail. So yes, you can. Would I suggest it? No, definitely not. Pretty hardcore about it. Okay, so we gotta hurry, because you can see, if this will turn, there's some sparkles happening over there. Ah! Sparkles. So I'm gonna kind of run. We'll turn this around. Not, come on, you can do it, Gimbal. I believe in you. How's this, is it still smooth while I run? Hope so. Imagine it's a little bit less smooth. We're gonna get out here so you can see the sparkles because we're in kind of a bad spot for it. Da, da, da. Running, running mode. I 
also means less talking mode. We'll be there in a sec. Running with a scarf on is not a suggested way of doing it. And there we go. Whew. Okay. Just keep moving here for a second. And enjoy the sparkles. I mean, enjoy the American Cathedral spire that just happens to have sparkles in the background. And totally just enjoy the water that happens to have sparkles reflecting off of it. Coincidentally. Totally coincidentally. Not so bad. And you can see, now that we're over here, not to nerd out too much, but the space invader I was talking about is right, where is it? There, under the red light. Tinkerbell has quite the tower. So nice. Those boats are having a good time too, coming back towards us it looks like. Whew. I can definitely unzip my jacket after that. Hey Edwin from Texas. Yeah, the searchlight is great. Hey Seb, by the way, I don't, I didn't see you come in here. I used to. There's one of the myths that is unfortunately not true, is that uh, the searchlight actually touches the edges of the city as it rotates. It's really cool, but they are not angled that way. But I, I believed it for about all of like five minutes, and I enjoyed it while I believed it. It was nice. There we go. Ah, how satisfying. Whew. That was a food delivery guy saying good evening. That was nice of him. Don't get that as much, actually. Uh, this is right here, Seb. That thing right there. There's another church that's called like the American Church, which is not far from here. It's kind of back up over that way. And it's kind of weird because it has like all the state flags hanging in it. So it feels like a church to America. It's really weird. I went in there once to check it out and happened into it during a funeral, which I didn't realize was going on. And once you stumble into it on like a funeral, you kind of feel like you have to stay. And so I did, uh, cause you know, I didn't want to like leave in the middle of a eulogy. It seems pretty bad. So then I just hung out there and it was nice touching you know and then i waited till everybody started leaving then i got out of there as fast as i could so yeah lesson learned uh don't go into churches you're unfamiliar with when there's a funeral going on try to uh try to stay away from that i guess that makes me a funeral crasher i don't know not intentionally though boop boop boo same thing yikes yeah don't get trapped in the surprise funerals. Are you asking how often it sparkles? It only sparkles once on the hour every hour. So it sparkles for five minutes after the lights have been turned on. So usually at dusk until uh, just after, until after midnight, but not all night. Okay, I'll start walking again here a little bit. Change the old perspective. I also gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I am hungry. What's January like? Yes, very cold. It's winter. And in January things are open. Late December things are kind of closed down. But yep, it gets pretty cold here. It's the same parallel as like where I'm from in the Northwest. So this like Washington state and uh, they don't get a lot of snow. Oh, there goes the, there go the sparkles. You can check out the purple dome over here for a second. But it's definitely cold, it's definitely winter, definitely gray a lot of the time. It's famous for gray. I mean, everybody loves the Parisian, uh, whatchamahoosit, umbrellas. Okay, here's some fun street art too. There are guys, I don't know who all does these, but they take the do not enter signs and they convert them into fun drawings of different kinds. And I have not seen that one before, so that's kind of fun. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, apparently this is pointing at me now. I have no idea what we're... Oh, I'm not going to cheat you, though. Let's go check out Pont Alexandre. 
and then we'll call it quits. This thing will not stop rotating. Stop it. Ah, oh, my wrist is getting sore. I gotta stop using that hand. 63 degrees, yeah, it's actually colder in Spokane than it is here for sure. The climate here is fairly temperate in Paris compared to what I grew up with. Although I did not grow up in Spokane, contrary to popular belief. Nachos, Deb, I, I do not disagree with you. I gotta figure out, I could do that actually. I have some mimolette. I just don't have any vegetables of any kind, but I could probably find some. Paris wishes you were here too. Falafel does sound kind of good. I had, I had shawarma yesterday and probably the day before that too. I found a little shawarma place near my apartment that I'm mildly obsessed with, mostly because it's convenient and I've been going there a lot. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. How's Washington in March? Depends on what side of the mountains you're on. Ooh, let's do, look at this. That's really nice. Oh, well, Samsung's doing a good job here. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm not giving that shawarma place away. I gotta keep some secrets for myself, sorry. But I have, in my guide, I list like two or three really good ones that are as good or actually better. One of them is way better. On the north side, on the east to west usually, the Cascades are usually the defining factor between them. But north is higher the elevation is higher so it's often really cold that's where my grandparents lived this is in north central washington okay so here we've got some stuff so you have pont alexandre so the bridge of alexander the third and then in the background over here you have just in the corner tour montparnasse in the distance and then we're finally getting to see les invalides right over there the military hospital which is also where Napoleon is buried, and it's one of the coolest tombs I've ever been in, and you should definitely check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry that you missed the meetup. That would be that would have been great if you could have made it. It was a small meetup. It was kind of nice, but it would have been great if you'd had you. Seattle in March? It's pretty rainy. Jason, there you go. Hey, Jason can answer that too, because Jason's a, a knowledgeable. He's knowledgeable on all things Seattle. He knows the weather in Seattle better than I do. That's for sure. I'm used to much colder winters and much hotter summers. It's a sopriety. So this bridge is really famous, the one we're about to go over. You've seen it, and it's raining in Paris. It was raining here yesterday, it was awful. I got soaked, we walked in it for like two hours doing touristy stuff, and I was frozen. Hey, thanks, I'm glad you love my channel, Welch. Appreciate that. 52 degrees in Seattle, sounds downright pleasant. Okay, so here we go with the Russian bridge and our very French dome in the background. Uh, if you want to know about meetups, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter for sure. I'll announce it on Twitter a few days before the location. I don't put it in the video because I feel like that would confuse people in the future because they'd be like, oh, it's at that space and not realize that it was a video from the past. So I just post the location and time on Twitter. So if you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's J on a boat. And then I try to put it in my Instagram stories as well. So you could do that too. Oh, can we get, oh, look at this. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, getting lost in Paris is a great thing to do. It is a pretty bridge. You've seen this bridge in many, many advertisements. Uh, yeah, Twitter is the best way, I think, but Instagram is a good way to do it too. I try to put on my stories. I didn't do that this time, I forgot to. But everything's been really hectic lately, getting ready to leave, so. These are really pretty. This bridge is very nice. Not a bad gift to have from the now disappeared czars of Russia. That's a great bridge. It's a great bridge. And there is Les Invalides. It's a beautiful place to be. Alright, 
fucking well. Thanks for, wow, that went right past me. Thank you for joining me for this outrageous live stream, walking along the Seine here in Paris. Uh, it has been a pleasure. I'm cold, my hand is sore, I need to find food, and I appreciate all the chats, and I hope that I was mostly responsive. It's kind of hard to be super responsive and read everyone's names accurately while trying not to trip and fall. I did almost trip once. I definitely caught my toe way back there and thankfully saved myself from a spill. Hope you had a fun time. Uh, I hope you're having a great time wherever it is you are and that the temperatures are not killing you. We talked a lot about weather today. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow. I already edited my vlog for tomorrow. It's another short one tomorrow. Um, but the short ones should be coming to an end and things will be back to their normal outrageousness as we travel. And then the outrageousness is going to be severely elevated and hopefully we survive. I'm mostly just worried about like actually getting some sleep at some point. I will see you guys tomorrow on my vlog. And I'm just trying to like read some of Hi and everybody. And yeah, French vlogs will happen at some point. And you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. A good night and my sweet dreams of a people.